السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو گائز آر انجوائنگ مائی ویڈیو لیکچر وتھ اسامہ تھا سو آر ٹوڈیز لیکچر وڈ بی ویری نیو فار دا بگنرز اینڈ وڈ بی ویری انٹرسٹنگ آئی ہوپ یو وڈ لو اٹ سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے فیو فیکٹس بفور ٹیلنگ یو دی ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز ویڈیو سو یو ول انڈرسٹینڈ دی اوور آل سناریو سو وٹ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ words are not only judged by the meaning they convey this is what we are going to understand in today's lecture so words are we usually see words as a container of meaning they convey but in another form in another scenario we can see words according to the role they play in sentence so seeing things differently would be very helpful in learning a new language so what is different seeing functional meaning of words is sort of a different approach what are we going to learn <coughs> Today, today we are going to learn the semantic roles. Another name for semantic roles is thematic roles. So, semantic roles and thematic roles are synonymous terms. So, what are semantic roles? Let's learn. Let's move forward. So, first of all, seeing words according to the meaningful role they play in language instead of seeing them as a container of meaning. So, you are seeing words according to the meaningful role they play in language instead of just seeing them as a container of meaning. I mean, the meaningful role they play in every sentence in language. So, uh, instead of seeing grammar uh, or seeing traditional grammar in a rigid way, we are going to learn uh, the features of the advanced gra grammar. And these are the concepts from the advanced grammar. So, you will love them. It is also called the thematic roles or thematic relation. First of all, we have few terms here to understand for the for understanding the semantic roles in general. So we have agent, we have theme slash patient, instrument and experiencer. <coughs> so these are the few basic terms uh, to understand the semantic roles or semantic relations or thematic relations. So agent, agent is the doer of an action. Like in a traditional grammar, we say subject, okay? But in semantic roles, we say doer of an action is called agent. Someone who initiates an action, who starts an action, we usually have the agent as the grammatical subject of the sentence, or usually they are in the form of the, or they are in the form of the noun phrase. Okay, so subject is like the functional, uh, like the structural approach, but seeing the semantic role they play is agent. So in structure, we call it a subject. Okay, but if we see its role, uh, then we, ca we call it agent. That because it's initiating an action or starting an action or becoming the reason of an action. And next one is theme or patient, receiver of the action. In traditional grammar, we call it object. But in advanced grammar, we call it theme or patient because their semantic role is to receive an action or undergoes the change event expressed by verb. You will understand, don't worry, you will understand by example. These are merely uh, the basic keywords or the definition of these uh, terms. So instrument and experience. We have action performed through something is called instrument. So in traditional grammar, we don't have such type of things uh, or experiencer is experiences a perception feeling or state i mean not receiving any action but experiencing a perception feeling or state normally from the human beings so examples of agent everything will be cleared with the example so stay tuned and don't wait so boy plays cricket he is an agent he is initiating an action of playing cricket John opened the door of the car and got into it. So John is uh, performing an action, initiating an action. Cat was drinking milk, so Cat was an agent. So it could be human or non-human. So you put the keys on the desk. Next, examples of theme patient. So receiver of the action, who undergoes the action, the boy kicked the ball. So ball is the patient. Okay, the wind blew the ball away. So non-human entity can also be the can can also be the agent or the ball is the theme or patient here the dog caught the ball ball is experiencing or i mean receiving an action a car ran over the ball or cat drank the milk so the overall in it this ball 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 and milk they are receiving the action performed by different agents from boy the wind the dog a car and cat 
so it, it is very easy you can uh, call it object in the traditional grammar but in advanced grammar and in the semantic roles you will call them patient or theme this is a new approach so this is all I just underlined for your ease so examples of instrument and experiences so this is quite easy <coughs> and not that much tricky as it is clear from its name that instrument any kind of instrument uh, that you use for performing for performing an action for doing an action is called instrument and experiencer as experiencing a feeling perception or a state for example the cook cut the cake with a knife so knife is the instrument here and she used a crayon to scribble a note next is that window was broken by a hammer so hammer is the instrument so that was all and uh, for the experiencer we have uh, like she knows everything okay I haven't wrote down uh, the I haven't written down the example of experiencer but it is very clear from uh, the meaning that experiencer is who haven't have a feeling of perception like we know we enjoy okay the boy feels sad okay uh, the boy was irritated so these all are the examples of experiencer so that was all today's lecture and you can ask anything you want in the comment section and stay tuned and keep subscribing and watching my videos. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.